Good day, good day, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Good day. Welcome back to Space Invaders TV. Yes, yes. Today we're going to talk about it. We're going to get into it. Uh, peace and blessings be with all of you. Today is uh, June the 23rd, Thursday, June the 23rd, 2022. Peace be with all of you. Um, yes, we're going to we're going to change the page right here a little bit. Um, and I want to talk about relationships. I've been in talks with friends and associates the past couple of weeks. And we've been having some some conversations about relationships and love and just trying to figure out like when you are ready to take it to the next level in relationships and 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 and, and if you've been with your your lady or your man and you've been with them for X amount of years and you feel like you 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 feel like you, you guys are like uh, like it's got boring. You're trying to spice things up, and it just feels like it's just not clicking, like it's just not happening. And then you start to wonder if is this is it over? It don't matter what, don't matter your age. You know you 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 may fall short on certain things and forget. Or you you may feel like you, you forgot how to, to how to how to how to get that spark back. We as sexual beings, we as human beings, are we as humans are sexual beings. Okay, let me say that. All right, would, would you agree with that? We as humans are sexual beings. So whether we want to believe it or not. Most times, some decisions and feelings may come from a sexual standpoint. Follow me now. When we think about like uh, the first time you see someone, right? The first thing we see, okay? The first thing we see when, when we see somebody that catches our eye, right? We, we 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 look at them up and down. We check in their physical. You got you have women that they like to look at men's hands, look at their look at their feet, like see what they're wearing, um, and they're taking in consideration if you may have came from work or not or something like that. So, but they're looking at your feet. They're looking at how you keep yourself groomed. You know, they're they're, they're looking at you. They're sizing you up in their own way. Men and don't be surprised, women. Us men too. We do. We 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 check you out. We look you up and down. Uh, we're looking at. Believe it or not, a lot of us men, we're looking at your feet too. We're looking at if you if you're keeping yourself well groomed as well. All right. We're we're looking at your whole posterior. We we we're, we're checking you out. Okay. So, um, that's the first thing. That's the first thing we see. We see the outer. What we beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So we're seeing your outer beauty. Okay. That's that's how we that's that's how we become attracted to each other. That's the first thing, the sight. What are we seeing? Right? Do you agree with that? So that's why I say we as humans are sexual beings. So a lot of things and our decisions kind of when we're in relationships or trying to start out one, it almost forms around that so like let's let's go back here because we all adults this is the time ladies and gentlemen truly that you need to put your children away in the bedroom or get away from them sit on your porch on your back deck uh whatever wherever you know get in get in your man cave get in your uh your your, your she shed wherever wherever you know you're at in, in your apartment wherever you know Get to a place right now and get get pour that class pour that glass of cognac pour that glass of wine, ladies. Uh, pour that coffee for yourself, your tea, whatever you want. Water. Sit back. Let's get into it. Okay, we we're gonna dive deep. I want to talk about something different. And um, as I always, say Space Invaders TV, where we talk about national, world, 
uh, and local issues, things that affect us, things and conversations that we talk about with our family, friends around the table, uh, or whatever, the conversations we have with, you know, when we at work, just like, you know, everyday things and, and questions that we all have, because we never too old to continue to, to just wonder and think about things. And this is a place where I want everybody to feel like when you come to this channel, there's questions you have, don't matter how old you are, you may, you will amount how old how old you may get. No question is a dumb question, you know. Uh, no feeling is an, is, a, is is a feeling that should be ignored, you know. So let's talk about it. So let's go right. And then mind you, this is going to be a three part thing conversation here, all right? Because it's just too much, and I don't want to hold y'all on each of these uh, segments too long. Because I want to keep it juicy. I want to keep this thing. So check it, right? Let's go. So you, we we base a lot of our, like I said, we base a lot of our, some of our actions and responses, feelings around the, 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 the sexual feelings and ideas because, like I said, we're, as humans, we're sexual beings, and so if you you may feel like, oh man, I ain't got, I, I lost my spunk, my I don't, I'm not, I don't think I'm hitting that spot for my lady anymore. Like, man, what what I gotta do to get my mojo back? So you got fellas doing whatever, taking the blue pill, you know, the Viagra, you know what y'all doing, them yellow jackets. <laughs> then you got the women. You know, women, you may be trying to go out and you may think you're not pleasing your guy anymore or whatever. Um, and, and and so you're going and you're doing different things. You may be reading books or going to get toys. You're, you're going to get lingerie. You, you're, trying to, you're trying to get that thing back. And, 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 and we always start and we always will base some of it off of the sex because once the sex dies, we start thinking really... Most starts thinking that their relationship is dying. And that's not the case. Many times, it, it, it starts with conversation. You have to converse. Sometimes in relationships, folks, we, we don't talk enough. We don't, we don't sit down and just learn how to be friends again, you know, we can be in relationships or, and I'm talking right now for the ones in relationships. We're going to get for, the, I'm going to get back to the single when you're single and starting out. Okay. And, um, sometimes in a relationship, you just think like, okay, once the sex dies out that we're losing, something is going on. Like we, and it's just a conversation. We need to get back. You have to get back to just being friends again and, and learning to enjoy each other again. Because sometimes, you know, when in a relationship or you're in a marriage and you're living together, you, you, you're running things like a business. You're paying bills. You're sitting down. And all you're thinking about is budgets and everything. Sometimes, especially in these last, these last two and a half, three years, you know, vacations may have been a little, you know, those not, they, they haven't been the priority. It's been about paying bills and trying to keep your lights on and if you got the children trying to make sure your children and everything is in order with that just keeping your household in line you know so you know uh and i'm just speaking for these last two and a half years but this goes on period you know what i'm saying and i say two and a half years because i'm speaking about covid ladies and gentlemen like you know a lot of things doing covid at had, had a lot of people's homes maybe in a upside down for a minute, rocked a lot of people, you know, not just, not, not just, you know, you, everybody was affected by, by that. So that can change the dynamics inside your household. That can change the, the mood. It can change the, you know, cause especially when, if you having problems with the finances and, and that's kind of shaky, it gets intense in your household, no matter how much you love or not. When, if you're not rich, wealthy, any of that. You're a blue collar, white collar worker. Things get shaky with the finances in the household. It kind of throw, throw things 
uh, it gets a little tense around the house. If all my adults out there, you feel where I'm coming from, you know, you you understand that we we we've, we've all experienced that, you know. And if you're not, and if you if you aren't experiencing it right now, so um, yeah, we have to get back to being friends again, speaking with each other, enjoying each other, asking each other, hey, how your day go? Hey, you know, what you do today? You know, um, going for those, doing the simple things, you know, going for walks, find nice, peaceful, quiet places to, 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 to just take walks and maybe have dinner, you know, do pic have picnics again. You know, if you if you if you if you were doing that and, or haven't ever done it, do it. Do it again or do it for the first time. Do it. You know, um, get reacclimated in your relationships. Okay, like that's what I say. You know, because um, it all starts with communication. Communication is key. You know, um, if you don't have communication, you don't have nothing. And for most. And I say for most because we know we have some people out there that can be of age and still want to be hang and be like they're young, like teenagers again, like they that like they one of the teenagers again. And it's all cool to feel young. I'm not saying not to feel young, but you know, when you once you get of age and you get up there in your late thirties and forties, it's time to switch gears in the mind mentally. It's time to start thinking a lot different, which you should have really started in your in your, in your in your once you hit thirty in your thirties. But everyone's different. But I'm just saying, you should have been prepping yourself for serious adulthood. Okay. Um. But it all starts with conversation, folks, and we. We we sometimes lack that, and as you as you mature, you'll find out that a lot of choices when it comes to choosing someone you want to be with, the, what the preferences you had as a teenager will not be the preferences once you become a serious adult. All right. And when I say serious adult, I'm talking about once you hit them 30s, late 30s, going into your 40s, the preferences you had when you was a when when you were a teenager won't totally be the same preference. Yeah, you're gonna still like the type of woman or the type of man that you like. You're gonna still you're gonna still you're gonna still have that, but it's gonna change. Uh, when you may have not cared about uh, their financial status when you were a teen. You didn't care about their living situation. Uh, you didn't care about their career when you were a teen. That wasn't anything you cared about, okay? As a teen, all you cared about is, is, he, is he or she can come out when you want them to come outside. You didn't care who they lived with. You didn't care if they had what type of money as a teenager. If long because you were gonna get it from your parents or whoever, your guardian was so you, you you know most times you know all right so once you become older you start thinking of things like hey um you, you start having stipulations once you once you become once you really become mature you'll see like um one one must have their own place one must be established one must be intellectual have some sort of religious belief or spiritual uh and be family orientated etc etc you see where I'm going? You'll start having those different, uh, 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 you know, those those prefaces and, and things of that nature. That's what you'll be looking for. Um, and you'll stand firm on that. Go ahead. You'll stand firm on those standards right there. And you won't, you, you know, you won't waver, you know. And sometimes that can be a, that can be, that can be a gift and a curse. That can hinder you sometimes. Because sometimes some some people may some people may have their expectations, their their okay now I want to say their standards raised so high that they miss a good thing too. They miss a good thing. So 
you want to be careful about that because a lot of times some people, uh, and I'm going to just make an example here. If you know that you like hitting the club scene, okay? All right? Or let's just say lounges or whatever, all right? Because once you get of age, you start, the club thing is not what you want. You're looking for a nice kickback lounge, maybe your favorite local bar or something like that. But so once you, once, once you, you have your standards, but you also have to pay attention to the environment you're in as well. If you're constantly, you're looking for a certain type of individual, you need to put yourself in those places. Think about something like this, and this goes for everybody singling, mingling, uh, and every, this this goes for the this this goes for you, all right. The types of places that you are seeking someone in, the type of places that you go. Those are the type of people that you will attract. Okay? So if you just like every weekend going out partying like that, and you always in the party scene, and you seeing this same same person in that place, different, the same places, they always in the know like you in the know, let me tell you right now, one of y'all, if not both of y'all, somebody's not going to change. So... If you think, oh, yeah, this was meant to be, we always winding up in the same parties and everything, that's fine and dandy. Yeah, it probably was meant to be, not meant to be what you wanted it to be, but, yeah, it like was meant to be. And But understand, one of you, if not both of you, somebody's not going to stop the party. So when you may think, one may be thinking one way, like, oh, yeah, this was meant to be, this was destiny, we, we were meeting up at the same places. And yeah, so it was meant for us to meet and be together. One of you may be thinking that way and the other one just thinking of it as, a, hey, this is just another thing. You know, this is just another thing. I see I see the same people every 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 weekend. You ain't the only one I've been seeing out and about every weekend. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't the only person I've been seeing all the time when I step out. You know, so keep that in mind. and You can't be upset. If you're, you know, so you have to, if you're in that environment, you got to keep an open mind, but also, and understand that, don't expect, if your standards are set where you want this person to be this way and that way, you have high standards, don't expect something out of somebody that's in that environment like that, and I'm just keeping it real. Don't expect, don't expect too much out of that, you know, you need to, you, you're going to have to move around a little bit. When you got your standards, you can't be in the same place setting the same standards, you know, what, what, I mean, not the same standards, excuse me, what, what, you can't stay in the same place with the high standards and thinking that something is just going to miraculously change, you know, so then for you get people that you, you, I, I, I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but I'm going to pull back in a second. <clears throat> so then you get people that, uh, they have relations and they have children with someone and they met them out and about, out at a party, some sort of party, whatever type of party, they met them out and about and then they they put on this facade and the person made them believe, you know, the gentleman may have made them, made the woman believe or the female believe like that they were this type of person. You didn't do no real research on them. <clears throat> you lay with them and have a child with them and then they're not there to take care of them. And now you're wondering why. Now, 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 now that's where things turn ugly and then you say, well, this person ain't, this person ain't shitting. This person ain't, he ain't done nothing and he ain't this. And it's like, sweetheart, really, if you would have done a little more, dug a little deeper or just dug you would have found that this person never was really about anything anyway. They never, they never was a go-getter, uh, 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 had a business mindset, or were, had <clears throat> any real high stand, any high standards or mid standards, any type of standards for themselves. They are party. They were party boys, so they just like the party. 
and you just was a casualty as many. So, you know, those type of situations. I went a little deep out there because this is how deep we going to go with this. So, but I'm going to reel back. <clears throat> so now talking to the, the single folks, almost the same applies as well. You know, and I'm and I'm speaking all from experience, folks. This ain't me just, you know, j j just just winging it and freestyling it. This is all from experience, folks. And um, so uh, then you have those who that are single and out, and you 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 thinking that you know you you gonna you know. You gonna find that one. You always looking for that one, but you keep going to these same little hole in the walls, or same bars and everything, and you thinking and you looking. So the same thing gonna apply for you. If you looking for something, a certain type of individual, a certain type of man or woman, you looking for, <clears throat> and you know that your standards are set at a certain height, you need to go where they are. You need to go where they are. Same way, like they say, you got to go where the money at. You know, if you really want to make it, if you really want to make that money, you got to go where the money at. Follow the money trail. So you got to take yourself where you you got to put yourself in the rooms of of the of the individuals you want to mingle with, the type of people that are on your level. Okay, you got to put yourself in the rooms. And you can't be so fast that, you know, you have a lot of people that they they, they, they they meet somebody and fall in love really fast. You you have to scale back. You gotta you have to scale back and, and do a little more research. Learn to really date. Learn learn to take your time and really date. You know, because if you think about it and you give yourself you you know, you give yourself some time with somebody, you, you'll start seeing trace everybody's not perfect. But you'll, you can start seeing their flaws and you can really figure out if it's something you really want to deal with. You know, you have folks that are jumping. They'll, they'll, they'll jump. They meet somebody and they're in love in two weeks, you know. And, and damn, they'll be talking about marriage or, or, or they're ready to move in. It's like, whoa, cowboy, slow down. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time, young man, young woman. Like, you don't rush yourself. Take your time and <clears throat> get to learn somebody. You know what I mean? Learn what they like, what each other likes or dislikes are. Learn learn what, what makes this person smile and laugh and uh, figure out what, what, really, what really gets their brain going, you know? Um... And I believe that's like the thing. A lot of people, you know, some people don't learn to date anymore. I've heard a lot of women say, man, ain't, ain't no good men out here. They just want to, <clears throat> a lot of men, they just, all they want is one thing. Well, <clears throat> you also got to figure out too, where, 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 are you, where are you meeting these men at? Okay. And I've said that a lot to women if I had conversations with them. Where are you meeting these men at? And when they say it, I'm like, that's your problem. You're meeting them in the wrong places. You're meeting them in places and your expectations of something, your expectations are higher than it should ever even be in that type of environment. You know, if you're going to a bar, you're going to a lounge type of, you know, and you know, you know, it's just one of those single singles bars and lounges and things of that nature. Everybody's there just sizing each other up. You know, seeing who gonna, who they gonna take home. If you're just if you're in those environments and you're comfortable in those environments, you should take it for what it is. You just dare to have a good time and that's it and go home. If you dare, you can have a conversation with a man and keep it on that level or a woman and keep it on that level and keep it pushing. You know, for so if you have a high expectation and you're going to these certain types of environments seeking something, you're not gonna. It's not gonna, it's not, it's not gonna work out well for you, you know. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just being honest, you know. Um, you you can find what what's wrong with just meeting somebody and just being good, have, maybe developing a good friendship in those environments, maybe, you know. 
but don't go in those environments looking for a relationship <laughs> or thinking you're going to create a, 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 some type of lasting relationship out of that. It's going to be a fairy tale at the end. It'll be more like a damn horror story, maybe. <laughs> So yeah, that's the thing too. Learn how to just, just, just gauge the environment you in, pretty much. Gauge the environment you in, and move accordingly. You know, don't expect so much from an environment that's really not expecting that much from you. <laughs> you know, so and and once again, like I said. As I said, when I'm speaking to the people in relationships or marriage, whatever, we are humans. We are sexual beings. So yes, you single, you out there, you know, especially if you if you young and you in your twenties, your hormones raging. Don't get it confused. Those women when they're in their twenties, their hormones are raging too. But sometimes with the women, they can have their thing a little more under control than us than us men. You know? At that, at that, at, at those tender ages and those mid twenties, early thirties, you know, you, 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 you in that playboy stage. Some, some may be in that playboy stage and just out here, you know, just trying to soak your royal oats. It's cool to have fun like that, you know. But make sure when you out here dating that you keeping it real with the ones that you are. You know, soaking your your royal oats with. Make sure you protecting yourself. And young ladies, same thing as well. Making sure that you you keeping your eyes up, and you just not falling for every for every for every guy that that come your way. You know, um, and never be and, and never be man, young men and young women. Don't feel go talk to your talk to a parent, God, or, or, or family member, or elder, and talk to them about some love. Talk to them about relationships if you know that they're in a, Go talk to them. Get some understanding because a lot of people too now, <clears throat> they come up and they may have not had those conversations, may have not had to had the privilege of having those conversations with parents, you know? Um, and a lot of parents may not even know how to start those conversations with their children, you know? Don't know when and know how to start them. So you have a lot of people out here really winging it. You know, a lot of people out here just going. You know, they're going for broke. They don't know. You have a lot of women thinking they think they know what a good man is and really don't and, 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 and had a lot of failed relationships. <clears throat> it's no fault of your own at the beginning, but as you go on, you learning from them, it starts to become your fault. You know, so... You, you can't keep, you know, if you keep making the same mistakes through your, your adulthood, now it becomes your fault. You know the saying? You so shame on, shame on you. And then, you know what I mean? If you, you know, but then if you keep on and it's shame on me, you know. So, um, then it's, it's the same thing, same thing with, 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 you know, young men. Just, yes, make sure, you know, uh. That you're keeping it honest as well. Make sure that you're going to talk to somebody about what what it really means to love somebody. See, a lot of times we'll give. I've 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 been there and came up as a youngin, and I've I've heard friends or associates tell it so their male children, their sons, that yeah, you go out there and you have fun. You go soak your royal oats. You go you go you go hit as many as you can get. Uh, that's not cool. That's not really cool to say, especially not in these days. You you really wanted to be a stand up with it though. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, be honest. If that's what you want to do, be honest with the women and give them the opportunity to make the choice if they if that's what they're 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 in that mode and that's what they want to do. Like, if if that's what they're down with, they just want to be friends. Uh, 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 uh keeping it keeping it casual. You know, um, and, 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 if, and if they want to, you know, hook up, you know what I mean? Like, whenever, you know, keep it, keeping it open. Don't, you know, you don't want to go out here just hitting everything in sight. 
You know what I mean? You want you want to have some type of integrity. You know what I mean? Um, and you and you still need to have standards as well. You know when you're you know as a young adult, you you still need to have some sort of standards. You know, um, you know, because um, you don't you don't want to wind up in something that you just don't want to be in. And that's all what this conversation is about. Just, I want to keep it, I want to keep it, keep it live. We were talking love, relationships, and just sexual being, you know, the, the sexual beings we are, you know, and um, how a lot of times, whether most people want to believe it or not, a lot of times with most folks is the, 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 the physical and this the sexual this, the, 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 the physique of somebody and the the, 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 the the sex is the thing that a lot of times that like it seals the deal it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's not even a deal breaker it's the the, the the deal maker like you know if if this sex ain't right then anything is all apart when it's really not that is we is about communication. So that's what we talk about. Communicating. Communicating your intents. Communicating your 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 idea for your relationship and marriage. Um communicating who you are and what you're seeking. Okay? So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is just part one, just to just to prep you guys up and just to see the response and see, you know, is everybody, you know, ready for this conversation? Because we're going to dive in. Like I said, it was going to be a three-part. And I would like this to be a three-part. I just want to see the, the response and, and if everybody's ready to have this conversation, a real adult conversation, okay? And uh, we're going we gonna to dive in. You know, I have a whole list of things to talk about. And we're gonna dive in from 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 about singles and folks that are married and folks that are uh you know just 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 been dating, just been in a relationship for a long time and years, you know. Um and I could I could speak on a marriage because I'm married, so you know, um and been married for for nine years, so you know, um I can speak on it. And um, I can speak about being single. I can speak about you know just being that 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 guy out just running around, just playing the game and soaking my royal oats. So I know, and I've talked to many different people. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is Space Invaders TV, and we're gonna go deep on it. And we talking about love, relationships. And just us being sexual beings. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Rashawn, a.k.a. Looker. Tap in. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're feeling. Uh, let me know what, you, what you're what you feeling about what we what I just presented to you guys. And, 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 and drop your experiences in there as we go along. You know? Continue to share. Continue to subscribe. It's cost you nothing. We just, I'm just here for conversation. Love to bring new conversation or ideas or topics to you guys and current events. I enjoy it. Let's let's keep it going. Once again, this is Space Invaders TV. I'm your guy, Rashawn, your host, creator. Till next time, next week, we're going to come back with it. As long as I see a good response from you guys, we're going to come back with it. And I'm going to try to keep them short. Every 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 part is gonna be short. I'm gonna try to keep it. I'm at least try to keep it under 40 minutes, cause I want to keep it spicy. I want to keep it juicy. You know what I mean? I want it. I want it to be intense. I want. I want to get you guys' minds running and not want no one to be ashamed. Drop your experiences in the comments. Until next time, folks. I'm gone.